showcasing my entire sneaker collection right here we have this wall right here and this wall right here now I know my sneaker collection used to be a lot bigger and I have condensed it I'm not gonna lie I did just want to get rid of some stuff I wanted to make it smaller just consisting of the things that I really care about most and just keep all my favorites and then get rid of everything that I don't really care about got these full off-white Air Forces black pair these are both super dope. They're really popular. The prices on these are actually getting steep. I'm surprised. I didn't think they were gonna go seven, eight hundred, but I see a lot of places with them for that much. So I'm like, okay. But I got those for retail. I don't think I got the bolts for retail, but I got the blacks for retail. I got these original Off-White Air Forces. So many people have asked to buy these off of me and I just can't do it. I, I won't do it. Uh, I don't know if I should take this tag off because this is really annoying and you can't pull it out, you can't like make it wider. But my pair is in really, really good condition. All the stars are still on the bottom. So I feel like if I did sell these, I would want like about a thousand now, because they go for so much. But these are so sick. These are like the ghost Air Forces, I think that's what they're called. These pink tulip zoom flies. I think this black lace swap is fire. It's just with one of the other laces that they came with. These are fire if you're looking for a reasonable off-white shoe. These are a move. And then, I got the uh, three blazers that I have in my collection. We got the original ones right here. I think these are the best ones out of all of them. Just the cleanest colorway in my opinion. And then also these Serena ones. These are pretty fire too. You can't really wear these with a lot though, I feel like. I've wore the Converse with these pants before. These are fire. A little yellowing, just because of the material. And then we got all the three off-white ones, the UNCs the white Euro pair and then the Chicago's, all super fire. I don't really need to get into those. We got Union ones right here in blue and black colorway. I personally like the black colorway the most just because it goes in more, but these are also super clean as well. I really like how these laces split in the middle. I think that's pretty cool. Couple other of my favorites, these shattered backboards. These go for crazy prices now. I don't know if you can get it in it, but this pair is actually sparkling now, and that's actually what happens to a lot of these ones now that you don't wear constantly. The leather just starts to like glisten and sparkle. You can wipe it down and like get it off. But a couple of my pairs do that. The pair that we were talking about earlier is actually these top three ones. I barely wore these. And I personally feel like these would go really well with this outfit that I'm wearing. But these are so clean and I haven't wore these enough, which is dope though, because these go for a lot now and I have a really nice conditioned pair, which is dope. But just such a clean shoe. They took three Jordan 1 colorways basically and they combined them, which is fire. So, but anyways, we got the core purples right here. These are sick. These are really dope. Green and green. That's the move. What if I did one of each? No, just the green, dude. For Halloween, that'd be fire, though. Yeah, for Halloween, that'd be fire. If only I had three feet, so I could put boom, boom, boom. Mm. Or orange and purple for Halloween. Mm. That's fire. This green, though, is pretty fire. That's yeah. like the best combo I think we've seen so far. These are, uh, what, the rookie of the year? Yeah, I think so. And I don't know why they just started doing this. They just started like doing this on all the Jordan ones. They thought it would make it look cooler. It does. So these are dope. I don't really feel like it's uh, necessary to get the Travis ones if you have these. I want the Travis ones, but I honestly don't really care about them. I'm not really urgent to go grab them because everybody tried to get them at first. Tommy got them for retail. So <laughs> I mean, I've seen like everybody already wear them, so I don't really feel like it's like worth running after right now. I feel like they're gonna die down. But if you don't got those with these the suede is honestly like the same thing it's just a different shade of brown so i may just like draw a little smiley face 
rip this open so I can put my little stash in here. And rip this off and put it back. These are really clean, super dope colorway, rookie of the year. You can get them on the sneaker con app for a great price. So make sure you guys go check that out. Then we got these patent leather ones. I paid a lot for these and I have not wore them at all. Um, I feel like I'm just waiting for the right outfit for these. But other than that, pretty cool colorway. They look dope. Fragment ones, give thanks to the stamp. Nothing really else to be said about those. I've shown this pair a good amount of love. One of my favorite ones of all time. And then we just got a couple other ones, turbo greens, pinnacles. These right here are bread fours. I did get these in the five stores and under an hour challenge at Cookies and Kicks, the bread fours. These are fire and I feel like these would look great with this outfit too. One thing I did recently get as well is actually this pair of red Euro exclusive ones and I did get these off the sneaker con app. These are fire. I need to get a fire fit pick in these for sure. Because these are fire. But yeah, I got these off the sneaker con app. They're basically brand new for 300 bucks. These go for like over 500 bucks. They used to. So I just got a steal on the sneaker con app. So a huge shout out to them. Another recent pickup, the clay P2s right here. These are sick. I got these. Where did I get these again? Cookies and kicks. I just got these. I'm tired. I'm forgetting where I'm getting stuff. So. Then a bunch of Yeezys, a couple other Jordans. We got the Cause 4s right here. One of my favorites in my collection. I still haven't wore them. I don't know what I'm going to. But I think that looks with the looks fire with that too. You feel like? I feel like you can't even really tell because it's like two light colors. Huh? Yeah. Sort of. But these are so beautiful. Such an amazing shoe. Then the black. I feel like this is more of a. Yeah. You think? Mm -hmm. Black cause fours. These are really clean as well. I have a bunch of other Jordans. I got the Travis fours right here. I feel like how they made these basically was meant to be a GR. The quality on these is really, really trash in my opinion. I don't think these are a really nice Jordan, but the colorway, the hype behind it, I gotta have it. So, big chill in here. I got the Air Forces. I like the Air Forces just because the swooshes are really dope. That was pretty creative. And then I got all these Yeezys here. If I were to just show you one pair, it'd probably be these Turtle Doves. These are probably one of the most special Yeezys. It, just in my opinion, I feel like they were the hardest to get out of everything recently. They look the best, you can wear them with the most. So I'm not really gonna go over any of the Yeezys. I have almost all of them, they're cool. But you guys know how Yeezys are now, they're sort of dead, played out. So then we have the Nike Yeezy 2s in the plat, solar, and then the Red October colorway, which is over there. Got that pair over there. And then we have my designer stuff. One shoe that I go to a lot, which I actually need to sell these because these do not fit me. These are a size 11 in the St. Laurent Lowe's. These are size 43, I need a 44. And I've been wearing these with no insole, so that's where I'm hurting my feet. But then we got like these Gucci Aces right here. These were really popular when I got them. I love that whole pattern that goes over them. And then we have a couple basketball shoes that I have. And then the rest of my designer shoes. I got these Amiri Skeletor slip on. I think these are super fire. Really, really creative concept by one of my favorite fashion icons, Mike Amiri. He's like one of my biggest icons. I love all his stuff. We thought these were the white ones. You know these are the gray ones? Yeah. There's a white pair. Yeah. And I wanted the white pair. I got these. These are fire. Balenciaga, Possum Stompers, Triple S's. I feel like these would look good with this outfit too. Yeah, you would. So much stuff would look good with this outfit. Maybe I should just wear this outfit every day. Yeah. But then, I do have another pair of the Triple S's. I need to wear these more, huh? Yeah. I want them enough. I need, you need to wear those too. Yeah, and then these Gucci, they're called rhinestone dad shoes. Those are sick. So, maybe we should get a Fitbit in those after. And then all my Fear God basketball shoes. I got my Dior. These go hard. These are pretty sick. I don't really wear these ever though, just because. You gotta pull off a certain outfit to look good in those, you know? And then Balenciaga's uh, speed runners down there. Almost like speed hunters, but speed runners. So this is my van wall, my beater wall, I guess you could 
call it. I got all these different bands, Pure God bands. I don't really need to go over all them because you guys know which ones I have. Those are all those. I did just get this pair right here and these go pretty hard. These are sick. Shout out to JC at Urban Necessities. I haven't posted that New York video yet. We're saving it for a rainy day. These are the Supreme CDG Air Forces. Another Supreme Club. I don't even know, but these are embedded with the fat writing. Also, did just get these. I feel like these are uh, okay. They're all right. Yeah. But they're fear god. And I've never actually owned a high top like band, so that's a first for me. All my Revenge Storms here. Revenge Storms, totally dead now. These are all the collaboration bands. Marikami, Supreme. These are so fire. I love these. I wish they were like releasing bands like these. The bands that they're coming out with now are horrible. Like I don't get it. And then when you come on this side right here, I have a couple special bands. Oh, bruh, you know what I have to do? Mm. Oh my. All right, well anyways, these are the Mindseeker vans. These are cool. There's only a couple pairs. There's like a couple hundred pairs. But I found the shoes that should go with these pants. I think, right? It's literally the same print. And this is real print. And then I just have some other slides and running shoes down there. So we're gonna close out the video. I do have these two shoes right here. From this, you know that our shopping videos are real and I did actually buy these. This was a real shopping video, wasn't it, Tom? Yes. These are here. So with all that being said, it's your boy Blake. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video and we're out of here. Peace. Guys, I almost forgot to show you a shoe. The Nike Air Max.